Just as Poughkeepsie was getting hammered this afternoon, a seven-story building collapsed, trapping a woman for nearly five hours. CBS 2's Valerie Castro in Poughkeepsie tonight with the latest. Emergency crews found the trapped woman right away, but it took more than four hours of painstaking work to stabilize the building just enough to get her out safely. My daughter's coming out. A mother relieved to see her adult daughter brought out on a stretcher, badly injured but alive, after a building partially caved in on top of her. It was around 4 in the afternoon when this taller, vacant, seven-story building partially collapsed on Academy Street in Poughkeepsie. The heavy debris also fell onto the three-story building beside it, causing that roof to cave in. That is where 43-year-old Ratanya Hargrove was at the time, working inside her boutique on the first floor. Yes, that's my sister, Ratanya Hargrove. I hope she's all right. I'm praying. The family's praying. We're here. Emergency officials say the collapse was likely caused by severe weather that rolled through the area late this afternoon. It didn't rain that long, but you heard a crashing noise. My building, it moved. Cece Patterson lives on the same block and was evacuated. I went through the back window. That's when you've seen all the debris, the bricks and everything, and you can hear this woman screaming for help. Emergency officials couldn't rescue Hargrove right away for fear of further collapse. Crews first had to cut timber to shore up the building, while others worked to clear debris away from her legs. Her lower body's trapped. She's talking, she's sitting up. Um, but it's her lower leg areas that are extremely impacted by debris right now. It's uh, high risk, high reward. Uh, in a normal circumstance, we wouldn't have anybody near this building. After more than four hours, Hargrove was finally freed and taken away on a stretcher to a waiting ambulance and off to an area hospital. Her family grateful to the crews who risked their lives to save hers. We're just thankful that they went and did their job like they're supposed to and that she's safe and she's in good hands. Several other buildings on the same block remain evacuated tonight. The Red Cross is helping those residents who are displaced. In Poughkeepsie, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.